Hello lovelies, hope you're all well. My name is Nikki and I'm the owner of lovealmost.co.uk and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to build a personal brand online. Now I wouldn't say I was an expert by a long shot or a professional or anything like that but yeah since, since November 2022 I've launched my own business Love All and Rose and learned so much since I've started it. So yeah that's why I decided to sort of talk about this today. So Oh, am I? Now, as I said, my name is Nikki and I'm the owner of multi award winning business, Love All and Rose. Started my business in November 2022 with no knowledge or experience. However, since then, I've been really interested in learning more about business. I've taken courses. I've learned so much about how it works. Plus, like running my little business, there's so much that I've learned. My website has now been featured in three UK newspapers, The Sun, South London Press and My London. It's also been featured in That's Life magazine magazine and it's a multi award winning business that's won a global recognition award and a Lux Life Business Award so very very proud moments and I started this business with absolutely no knowledge or experience no like business background I'm just a medical secretary so no business experience literally learnt as I went along so yeah today I'm going to share with you what I've learnt about personal branding so what is a personal brand now a personal brand is all about you and your own story on the internet we can find out so much information at the push of a button or if there's only one you a personal brand is about sharing your story who you are your reason for starting your business why you started what you want to achieve people always buy from people not robots and I truly believe your personality is what sells and your personality is your brand now, people in general, now all of us absolutely hate being sold to. Like, how many times have you watched something on the TV and those annoying adverts have come on and you've just switched off? Like, your brain sort of just goes adverts at times where you'll go and make a cup of coffee, something like that. So, people in general eight being sold to so i believe the way forward is not selling but sharing things that you are truly passionate about and you build that trust with your audience and sharing the authentic you sharing stories about your life sharing who you are and your personality if your posts are all just sales pitches people just switch off and you don't want to do that you want to create interaction and that don't mean like sharing every aspect of your life like there's some things that i choose not to share on on social media but it's letting people know who you are and sharing relatable content and I believe that works better than sharing just like tons of sales posts so people also know when you're not being honest about things and not being authentic being a leader or a business owner is all about authenticity so share your wins but and don't be afraid to be vulnerable sometimes like be real and share yourself I mean I know that it's hard sometimes sharing like things online but be yourself and people relate to that be proud of your little wins and share moments and be honest about things that you're proud of if there's something that you're like struggling with just be honest with people and just be authentic and be you now one thing that has really helped my little business grow is email marketing and I could literally shout from the rooftops about how much I love email marketing if social media media closed down tomorrow we want a way to keep all of the connections we've built up so that's why email marketing is super important now if you can use so many different things so many different websites to start email marketing and building up that mailing list and you can do that by offering what's known as a lead magnet now a lead magnet is offering someone a freebie a download something like that to allow them to be part of your mailing list and then you can send out personalized offers you can send Send out like useful information you can send out stuff that people really want now with love all and rose on my mailing list i share crystal advice self-care advice things like that because i know that that is really like what my audience would love to see is stuff based on crystals holistic spiritual healing so yeah you share stuff that gives people value and yeah by offering an incentive now on love all and rose we offer a free self-love handbook it's a digital product so it doesn't cost each time someone signs up it's sent straight to their email address or if it gives a nice little incentive for people to sign up now this is the bane of my life it really is algorithms social media algorithms can be 
funny things. Now, one thing that I've learned is that algorithms love consistency. And one way of doing this while still having that time to yourself without your whole life being social media is to make use of all those scheduling tools out there. Now, there's fake, there's um, Business Suite. There's so many others that you can use to schedule posts. So you don't always have to be constantly online. You can have that time to shut off. And yeah, at minimum, I always make sure on my profile that I have a morning quote. Now, this also builds up my algorithms because it's like that consistency as well. So yeah, I'd always say to schedule that post and that way it's not like constantly having to be on social media. You can still have that time to yourself, which is super important. Now, this might be a controversial opinion, so I'm really sorry if it is, but one thing I personally do see a lot of and personally don't agree with is income claims. Now, admittedly, when people see something like someone is earning thousands, they'd be tempted to jump into the opportunity. I mean, pure want extra money. We all would be. However, the reason why I personally don't like this is that things like direct selling takes time for all of us. Now, someone with no experience, someone with no like business knowledge, someone with like no network it will take time to build that up and if someone is sold a dream and told oh you only have to like jump straight in and make thousands and they don't within a few days they're going to feel soul destroyed like I've been in that situation myself so many times when I've jumped into a company because I've seen that people have made so much and within a few days not and it just knocks you back and it just knocks your confidence so I'd always say be real and lead with your art more than leading with money because yes some people might be making thousands and that is absolutely amazing however we all start from somewhere and we're all sort of building in different ways so be authentic and share your passion rather than sharing your money because that's your own personal circumstances and everyone is so different and it takes time to build that network and build those connections so yeah honesty I would always say is the way forward with that now PR and publicity now, my little business, Love All Rose, has been featured in three UK newspapers, and that's Life magazine. I would always, always recommend my, writing to local publications. My London was the first publication that I was featured in, and a few weeks after I got an email that my story was also in the sun, I didn't actually write directly to the sun. It was from my London that they got that. So publications seem to share stories with each other. So even though a local paper might not might seem like a small step, it can lead to a much bigger leap. I'd also so say don't send the story as an advert share what people can achieve share your start and why you're passionate and have an angle to the story as to why as to why you got started and make it yeah just share your passion I mean these are a couple of the headlines for some of the press publications that Love Alton Rose has been on as you can see I started my business with no knowledge or experience I started from a £12 voucher course so yeah be realistic be relatable and be honest now Facebook Facebook I have a love a relationship with and what to share really does vary for everyone my non-negotiable on Facebook is always a morning post I tend to do a positive quote alongside a photo of myself Facebook algorithms are more likely to put something out there if there's a photo rather than just sort of directly getting an image from Google so I try to always use a photo as and when I can and a photo where I'm doing something I enjoy such as like an holiday something like that quite a positive photo and yeah by doing that that way the algorithms can see that I'm being consistent I always now this isn't 100 percent I am not 100 percent consistent with this however I always try and do one lifestyle post and one business post however it is really quality over quantity I mean if one day I'm doing absolutely nothing and nothing's going on in my life there's no point in posting I'm sitting on the sofa like it just wouldn't interest anyone so it's always about sharing relatable stuff I mean you can't do it with to sort of sitting on so if you can ask for recommendations on things to watch something like that but yeah I'd always say that it's quality over quantity more than anything else now a good tip to a business post is not being too salesy if you can share a story with your post that's the way to go Facebook does not want you to sell so it automatically hides posts people see as sale posts so do things from your point of view I have a few examples that says I have a do you have a few examples? That's meant to say I have a few examples. Uh, so here's a couple of my posts. Now the first one you can see I've put um, about the rep program and about like 
yeah about that side of the business and yeah these are just a few I've shared my wins within my business I haven't been too salesy and although I do focus on how the products help me and how the products benefit me I do it from my point of view rather than just buy this buy that I do things from my point of view and share them from my point of view so yeah I mention my business a more in story form rather than blatantly trying to sell something in your now in your Facebook stories you can be a lot more direct with sales posts I would always try and add like a witty caption or try and add something that people can interact with rather than just a picture I know I know sometimes that I do this but yeah always try and have that way that people can get in touch and connect with you now my non-negotiable morning post now every morning I always do a positive quote and with this it allows me to spread out positivity and just put myself and everyone else in a good mood of the morning and just spread that bit of positivity alongside this it also allows me to boost up my algorithms as people often comment good morning and it's a natural way to build connections I mean people that I have on my Facebook that I've really spoken to will sort of start saying good morning to each other on post and then it naturally lead to further conversations conversations and supporting each other's business so it's a good way to make new connections and new friends so here's a few of them as you can see some positive quotes some photos of me smiling holiday snaps that sort of thing so yeah they have my star link as well that was another one I was going to mention they have my star link so that way people can click on it if they want to they can have a little browse but it's not too in your face it's not too out there it's just there if people want to see now lifestyle posts these are my favorite kind of posts they truly allow you to show who you really are and let your audience understand your personality these tend to be my main focus now with the type of posts i'm sharing it's not like you have to post one lifestyle post one morning post one business post you can mix them up and i tend to try and focus more on the lifestyle posts as i believe these are a good way of building connections so here's a few i've got one about bounce i've been to i have got one about a nikki moment where i'd never had Gary Baldy biscuits which I've tried them now they're actually really good and another one asking for recommendations on Netflix shows so these are the sort of thing as you can see it doesn't have to be too in depth it doesn't have to be like out and about and on expensive holidays just natural just about who you are and your personality so yeah I tend to leave my link at the bottom that way it's there for people to browse at their leisure it isn't forced in their face it can be a mix of everything with a lifestyle post as long as it shows your personality and who you are that's the most important thing is showing your authentic self and yeah that's a bit about lifestyle post now the majority of the stuff that I have focused on and building your personal brand will be on your personal profile this is because that's the way that people can get to know you rather than get to know your business however I would say you can use a page for your business or you can use a group for your business having a group is really Really useful to build like a VIP community group that sort of thing it can be a good way to share interactions with your audience really focus on that community aspect of it and a page is a good way to get your name out there because with a page it tends to be more public so it's a good way to like expand your reach within your business whereas a group's a good way to sort of have that VIP community sort of feel so yeah you can use both I mean it depends on personal circumstances it depends on your brand but a lot of what we're talking about today personal branding I tend to do more on your personal profile because it's letting people know you and your own personal brand now Instagram Instagram is very different to Facebook and I find getting sales on Instagram so much harder than Facebook however Instagram still does have a space in building your own personal brand and with that I tend to do a mix of lifestyle and business posts on Instagram and use more of a storytelling approach so within things I tend to sort of talk about yes yeah, like more storytelling that, and just things like that and often focus on stories so when it comes to sales within my stories I'll tend to have products and also make them quite interactive ask for opinions as that's another way to grow on Instagram is to sort of ask for opinions and have quite interactive posts now TikTok I am going to be completely real with you I still haven't got to grips with TikTok once I work out a little bit more about it I do plan on do, doing additional training on it however I'm I'm not going to claim that I know how TikTok works. All I can say from my experience is that TikTok likes authenticity. I haven't had a range of views from TikTok and I'm still getting used to how it all works. But from what I've experienced, the videos where I'm sharing stories and experiences of using. Uh, 
product using the products tend to do much better than others so i'd say be authentically yourself and yeah that tends to work for me but i am planning on doing another video of tiktok at some point soon and going through it in a bit more detail now building connections and now this really is the crucial part of it all one of the most important parts of any network marketing brand is building connections it's letting people know who you are and building true friendships for me personally my aim on social media is to make friends and connections and if a sale comes from that that is amazing but if not i have new friends which is always lovely and network marketing truly is a people business so being supportive of others and getting to know people is a huge huge aspect of it so i'd say always prioritize building those connections and always prioritize like speaking to people like go through stories if you see someone's done something amazing congratulate them and just have a little chat like just talk to people as you normally would sort of on a day-to-day -day basis so on social media another way that i tend to build connections is via morning posts birthday messages and just generally messaging people and having a chat like you wouldn't go up to someone in the street selling products so i believe in network marketing is the same we want to build that connection and share things we relate with share kindness support get to know people and tend to always let people lead when it comes to the business side of things like don't go straight in say hello i'm nikki i run a business sort of i would chat to them first hello how are you how's your weekend going how's your day going and then when they ask what is it that you do which generally we all will because we're quite curious people i'd say i run love and rose alongside my full-time job and that's when i'd sort of bring it into the conversation and just naturally let it progress from there and build it up quite authentically sort of don't go straight in as soon as you speak to someone this is my website because then someone will feel quite bombarded and like you don't really want to get to know them like you're just after that sale so i'd say build those authentic connections it's really important now this is another part of the industry that i will always struggle with i'm a people pleaser so even now i really get upset when someone sends me a nasty message or calls me an insulting name however i have learned on social media people can be not so nice and not taking it personally people often like no behind the keyboard there's less consequences for the things they say and quite often they don't see the person behind the keyboard in the same way they would in person so they think they can say a lot more however the way that i look at it is those that are not very nice not my ideal audience and although it can really uh which i know it can because i've been there try not to let it get to you and try to just sort of let it go over your head because it is just not worth getting upset or stressed about like the type of people that do things like that and not the type of audience that you want to attract so yeah i'd say i know that it's hard but try not to let it get to you now one thing as well i truly believe in is gratitude now i have a gratitude journal and every day i write down three things i'm grateful for even the small wins now before now i've done what's once for doing a facebook post things as small as that as that each of you step towards a bigger goal and just being grateful for the small steps that you take towards that bigger goal is so 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 important it really puts you in that right mind frame to grow your business so yeah that is what i would say is always be grateful for the things that you have achieved and always shout out your achievements as well like even if it's something small even if you've had a sale be proud of that because that is amazing so yeah that is something as well that i would say is super important so yeah just a short training but i really hope that you've enjoyed it on my experience of building your own personal brand and i hope that it helps you get started on your new on your journey like i'm here for you every step of the way so do feel free to reach out with any questions or anything you'd like support with and i'm proud of you for taking this first step so do feel free to email me at nikki at loveonwise.co.uk when you've completed this and i will send you a certification to confirm that you've completed this and i'll probably I am of you and good luck with everything and yeah I'm so grateful to you being it and I wish you every step of luck with your journey you're amazing